Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Count Christo. Welcome back to our glorious France campaign, The Path to Modernity in Mayo and Texas 3.0. We are having just won the war against Mali. We are hoping that the game does not crash. Uh, I did run the last kind of six months again off camera. Well, on stream, but off recording. Um, so we could hopefully see if it crashed again, which it doesn't seem to have, so that's good. Uh, we also set up an ivory map mode. Um, and learnt that there is another big deposit here and here. And I say deposit because we also amusingly learnt uh, that ivory is apparently mined. <laughs> and the maximum mine size here is uh, is already filled. So we should start making some good money out of the ivory here. And there are other places where we want to uh, to take the, uh, the provinces in the fullness of time to get that ivory. And remember that we want ivory because we can get the exotic goods from it, which is going to be glorious. As I mean to make certain that we are the only nation in the world that has any access to exotic goods. Okay, uh, are we? Yeah, we're still ahead of time. Good. And we're just horrendously corrupt, which is what we're mostly waiting on ticking down now. And there's the colonialism CB on England. So let's get things started against England. Although I should probably transport my armies over before I declare on them. So let's do that. I will spy on England because we need the uh, aggressive expansion. Not aggressive expansion, sorry. The uh, the word I'm looking for is... Siege speed, that's the one. We also want to move some of our merchants because I've realized that we have them placed poorly. Um, the one placed in... The Danube needs to be recalled because we don't own any land in any of these regions which border the Danube, which means we're not able to trade with the Danube. So let's move from there. We do own land in the Channel, so one in the North Sea seems appropriate. We also own land in the Rhine, so we could go with the Elbe rather than the North Sea. How much local wealth is there? There's more local wealth in Elbe, so I'll just take that to mean more trade opportunities, and we'll go in the Elbe. Do we have any land in... The Po Valley. Not as of yet, but we will get some soon. So we actually want to withdraw from Venice as well. Because uh, that's not actually increasing our market access. However, the Barbary Coast connects to the Western Med, right? Yeah, which means we do have access to that node. So we'll trade there as well. The merchant has returned home. Yes, so go and transfer trade in the Barbary Coast. And then when the other one returns... We'll send him over to the Elba, <clears throat> which should be good. Dun, dun, dun. You have a connection to the Danube through the Rhine? Ah, that's a good point. Thank you, chat. <laughs> that's a great point. I forgot that because we do own land in the uh, in the Dan in the Rhine node. Well, okay, yeah, we're going to go straight back here. Oh, I never recalled him. Okay, we'll leave him there. Uh, transferring him, transferring trade, but yeah, we should leave him in place. Good point, thank you. So we can still trade with Austria and obviously our subject, Hungary, which will be good. Oh yes, uh, off camera during those six months we ran, we got a new heir and we had to disinherit him because he have, didn't have 10 monarch points, which is what we need right now. Uh, you're not meant to be privateering. They're not. Okay, good. And where's my other one? We're, we're doing... Yes, that's right. We're protecting trade in Iberia so we can steal away their wealth. And can we send it from Iberia directly to France? Yes, good. Good stuff. Grand celebrations have expired and we are still losing money, so I'm not going to re-up them again immediately. But I really, really, really want to. Uh, and we can't work to reduce corruption just yet. But we're getting on it. We're getting on it. And now our troops have arrived. Bring up another army and once two of them have arrived that will be i will deem that sufficient to uh what is this soundtrack let's come on let's just go with the tried and true bring back surviving mars um i'm so mad at you castile i can't express how angry i am with you i'm gonna revoke that military access and i'd really like it if portugal would Ooh, i could excommunicate portugal right now Nice, let's do it. We could then use the excommunication CB 
and then full call Castile. <laughs> that could be fun. I should have a colonialism CB against them as well, right? Yeah. Colonialism lets you take land with very little aggressive expansion. So that should work well. And then once we've taken a bit of land off in Castile, it's time for some more expansion in uh, Flemish lands. Okay, what else do we want to do? Nothing else really. Let's take a look at the next reform we want. Remember, we're trying to focus our reforms to lower corruption in the long term, though unfortunately raising it quite dramatically in the short term, and also to um, uh, work towards meritocracy. Widespread tax relief is over, and I don't think we should renew that. We did get the CB. Nice. Uh, so for meritocracy, I just need to get this screenshot back up. So hang on, if I, while I save this real quick. I want to get that tooltip up on my other screen so we can easily tell which reforms we need. I believe it's recruitment that we need. We need means of recruitment level three. <clears throat> So if I can just get this up on my other screen, that will be helpful. Yeah, means of recruitment reform has to be three. So that's what we want next, <clears throat> which again is going to cause 15 bureaucratic corruption <laughs> and a bunch of lost loyalty. But good stuff other than that. Good stuff other than that. Sovereign law. I think, do we need that one? No, we only need that at level two. Although, I mean, level three is pretty nice. More stability increase, but hey-ho, no problem. Men are on their way north. Good stuff. And yeah, war with England should be trivial. They've got no meaningful allies. Mamluks keep rivaling us. Is there any other badly placed merchants? I'll just have another glance around. I don't think so. We could put one in the Guinea coast right now, actually. That might be a good idea. State reaches up to 64%. Yeah, actually, I think maybe instead of trading with the Barbary Coast, we should trade with the Guinea Coast. Because there's all kinds of exotics down there. So let's send let's send a merchant down there. And since we have a sector in um, St. Gambia, we can trade with the Barbary Coast. Uh, sorry, the Ivory Coast. Guinea Coast. <laughs> So yeah, there's lots and lots of uh, exotics being produced down here for us to import. That's for darn sure. Okay, any interesting disputed concessions? Milan. Milan is interesting enough to marry. You know, just make a play for it. Make a play for it. Time for an expedition to the Gulf of Guinea. Godspeed. May your winds be fair. May the doldrums not catch you. And may you take one of these trading provinces for me. That would be the first European sector in the Guinea coast if we got it. There's an heir. And once again, he is the second heir running with nine points when we need ten. Phenomenal. Well, he's getting disinherited. But we are in very low prestige right now because we've just disinherited another one. Oldenburg is closing their markets to me. How dare they? Well, not necessarily closing their markets, but yeah. Oh, I've just thought of something I missed out in the trade tutorial video that I might record in afterwards, which is that who people choose to tra trade with is important. But oh well, maybe we'll do that in the we'll do that in the advanced trade tutorial. Okay, and half of you, come on up to Cardiff. If I hover over you now, does it tell you when you're going to arrive in Cardiff? No, just when you're going to arrive down there. Let's get this war started now because we need to start making progress. So, I will go with Take Colony, because it should apply to all of, all of their col uh, colonial land, which will include this, but we could just seize that. Does Blockade Ports... Yeah, Blockade Ports disable stuff, but Trade Protection doesn't stop you taking land. That's useful to know. So, let's have these guys... Come on through, and you do not need a general. 
Meanwhile, up here, head on into London and let's get England burnt down. Now, is there any actual useful stuff going on already in this province that I want to worry about damaging? Not really. We've got some industries going, but some cash crops. Anything else I want to invest in? We're already building amenities here. And we're building amenities here. Not doing anything here. Right, because we're colonizing that one still. I don't know how this is an important center of production before it's even colonized. I guess it's because the industries do start straight away. And look at that. There's already 160 ducats of urban infrastructure here. That's crazy. Yeah, England is... Uh, I mean, they have one important center of trade, but... Apart from London... The thing is, though, when you loot stuff down, you only damage um, the population. So damage to property does still happen, but it uh, it takes time. Because you, you kill the population, then there's no one to work the industries, and the industries make less money, then they shrink. It's not like you actually burn down the property. At least I'm pretty sure you don't. Okay, so uh, do I want to just seize this straight off them? I think I do. Boom. All mine. We can afford the... Um... Oh, no, we can't. I forgot. We're losing money right now. Because our raised regiments, we are spending 28 ducats for being over the force limit. What the hell just happened to my force limit? Okay, delegate tax code. We need to dramatically increase military spending. That's not good. Um... Nobility, calm down. Calm down. They like us, though. I think it's just because the extended levies is tanking their investment. And therefore, we're getting way, way less than we would normally from that. But, yeah. It's a bit problematic, but not the end of the world. Excuse me. Castile, stop this. We are the only ones that are allowed to colonize. Outrageous behavior. <clears throat> Still can't core these? Ah, right. Yes, we actually don't have coring range on these two provinces, unfortunately. We will once this colony is finished, but it's going to be a little while yet. Okay, let's deploy our navies to blockade now. The English navy is basically non-existent, so it won't be too much of a problem. Dun, 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 dun. Nice, there goes the whole navy. And I will keep protecting in the region for now. We, we urgently need the income. I don't know what the heck happened to my... Uh, my manpower. It must just be huge decrease in investment from the from the uh, nobility. But hey, in the long term, as long as we can still win our wars and stabilize the economy, in the long term, it's a good thing. Weakening the nobility is is going to be worth it, as well as empowering the state. We will loot them naturally. Oh, hello, England. What do you think you're doing? Walking around in my provinces and stopping to siege. That seems truly ill-advised. When am I, uh, are my transports almost here? No, we'll engage without them then. It seems like a very, very poor decision. Are you ahead of me on Miltech? Okay, they are significantly ahead of me on Miltech. We should still win this. Ooh, it's going to be a bit close, but we got them that crossing penalty and we have a two shock advantage. Wow, it's still going to be close. Think we're gonna get them? It's gonna be really close. That eight roll saved our lives. Okay. Wow. Yeah, they have a pretty significant tech advantage. That's a little uh a little concerning. Milan still the only interesting one on this list. Uh, yeah, sure, you can have merch access. Ooh, should probably go for the stack wipe. Bit late now, but we might be able to get it next month. Expedition lost. Damn. Worth a try. Worth a try. Hello, my love. Right, we're back in. Ooh, Poland is actually landing men. <laughs> okay, now that we're spending all of this military points, come on, 30,000. Yeah, 30 to 30,000. 30 monarch points. We have now managed to increase it, and surely our income is going to stabilize a bit as well. Oh, Christ, it's not even. <laughs> the freaking corruption is so expensive. And the tax farming costs are rising as well. Manpower is costing negative money, apparently. 
It's interesting. And yeah, infrastructure costs are obviously pretty high because we're trying to maintain such a com colossal capital infrastructure in uh, in Paris. Oh, but our state investment is actually no longer required. Elite investment in Paris has risen significantly. So let's immediately cease funding infrastructure in the capital because that was really hurting us. Okay, nice. All right, England, what are you doing? I just We just really want to try and catch them before the next monthly tick, which is definitely not going to happen, unfortunately. Ah, but reinforcements are here. Marvellous. Hop on down to Somerset. We're going to catch them in Sussex. Nope, we're going to catch them in Wessex. Got them. Reinforcements coming in afterwards. Full grain provisions expired. We should re-up that, re that. And we should make sure it's global. Make those, mo those Malians love us by just rocking up and saying like, Hello, welcome to the Empire. We pay for all food. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, actually. Maybe that's going to suddenly start being really expensive because people down here aren't affording food. But, I mean, if that's the case, you know, we need them alive so they can work our... Ivory mines. <laughs> I love that they're mines. <laughs> can I invest in the ivory mine down here already before we core it? I can. Excellent. Let's invest in the ivory mines. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. <laughs> How about the industries here? Are they making a profit? They are making some profit. Okay. The cash crop farms are not making a profit? How in the world is that? Aren't they outputting luxuries? I mean, exotics? Yeah, they're up being exotics. It's just that rural labor is really expensive. That's probably partly because of the building we're doing. Oh, the building's finished. Okay, nice. What was that for? Level 1 amenities, right? Yeah. We need to start working on some irrigation then. Cash crops from here will eventually be very profitable. Give me some... Not amenities, sorry. Back. Give me some irrigation. 160 ducats. How much peasantry labor have you got? Uh, essentially none. So just very slowly build that. Yeah, hopefully we can just encourage some emigration down there. All right, where are you running to now? Let's just chase you. I can chase you to Cumberland, which might be where you're going. You're going over here again. Oh, well, that's foolish. Stack wipe secured. Ah, no. We're arriving the next month, but... Wales is getting some sieges done for us. Yeah, and at least our manpower situation has recovered a bit now. Alright, let's go full carpet siege mode. No messing about. Okay, go here. You... Go here, you split, you go here, you, uh, you split is actually not good enough, but once they've recovered a little, good stuff. Okay, let's get England looted down, and one more army from the south, I think, yes indeed, he's on his way, good. And then we'll send one more back down so they can take out Castile's colonial holdings. Bah, bah. How dare Castile take land? It's rightfully mine. Let's state this. Can I state this? What state is that in? Arguin. I can. Cool. Yeah, state those. Ding. Yeah, you do have to click through a couple of things to get the infrastructure upgrades, but you can do it multiple provinces at a time, so it's not really a hardship. Another claim over here. How much do I need? 80. Fair enough. So is that where we want to claim? Yes. Yes, it is. We don't necessarily have to push England all the way to victory here, considering how low our manpower is. We may wish to just uh, yoink these two off them. Excuse me, how is this costing Diplo points? It's colonial. Nonsense. Okay. Those two, and give me access to your market. No, I think I will loot them a bit more because we could do with the money and we could also do with the money from the loot. Yeah. 
Oh, we actually have conversion options for the first time in the campaign. Where's that then? Baljour. Which is where? Where is that? Up here. Okay, so what is the religious setup here? It's currently... I don't think this is calculated properly. Oh, no, we're on the wrong page. Okay. We've got a small Catholic minority of 4.8%. And we've got some Sunnis and we've got some Jews. And in terms of the urban population, it's 100% Jewish. I wonder how that happens. And then the notables are obviously almost entirely Catholic because there are like nobles and, and stuff like that. Yeah, let's convert them. Nice. I believe sending a conversion thing, it converts a certain number of people rather than a certain proportion of the place now. Church endowment has expired. Yeah, let's keep that expired because we need the income. We urgently need the income. We can reform the uh, clergy again. We can make them get less money. We can make them taxpayers, but I think now is not the time to uh, aggravate the estates. We need to make them make them more cheerful with us so we can get more manpower to fight Castile with. 61,000 is good, but having to spend 30 military points a year is really going to hurt our ability to uh, keep up in tech. But yeah, let's just keep burning down England for a bit now. And we can worry about that afterwards. More mill tech there. What are you at, by the way? Yeah, they are at 18. And 18 looks like a pretty big one. Yeah, infantry shocks up. Okay, okay. At least our corruption should be declining pretty rapidly. Yeah. 0.66 a year. And if we look at a particular province like Paris's corruption, I have to imagine a lot of it is coming from... Um... Oh, sorry. Yeah, you look at the elites. Tool tip for that. Yeah, look at that. 46% of the corruption in this province is coming from laws, which is our, like, reforms and things. Not our, sorry, our, our doing reforms as opposed to our active reforms. I think state is from the active reforms. What are you doing, Castile? Anytime, anytime I look at Castile, I think, you, you bastard. <laughs> you taking land off me? And by off me, I mean off, you know, people who I deem to be my subjects. And by my subjects, I mean, like, anyone, essentially. <laughs> anyone. <laughs> the world is subservient to me. M-E-I-O-U and taxes. It is my destiny to rule the world and tax it. Tragedy strikes. That's not good. Who do we have relationships with that we already have, don't already have marriages with? No one, really. That is unfortunate. We've still got this crappy guy. I need to need to get rid of him. You know what we could do, actually? Uh, well, first off, let's break the royal marriage with Bar, because we don't need that. Um, it doesn't really matter how much they like us. And then... Bohemia, you love me, right? No, they don't love us. Okay, we better improve relations with Bohemia, actually. That's a bit low. I was going to break, break the marriage with them and then make it again, but since they don't really like us to begin with, that would be uh, a bad move. Okay, now, just send the cannons out. Not interested in, in working down actual forts. So we are at least making money now. Come on over. Take out the remnants of the English fleet. Okay. So are we ready to fight Castile with zero manpower and then with a tech advantage? Probably not, right? Seems like a, an imprudent idea, if I had to say. Alrighty then. <clears throat> we have enough for another claim on Brabant, so we'll do that. This is what I should try and do with the yearly ticks. I should just make sure, make sure I'm keeping track of everything in my outliner. Quite a few rebels building up, but we should be able to deal with them. Can you tax provinces in trade company regions effectively? Certainly not very effectively because they have 100% autonomy. And uh, autonomy, almost all taxes, maybe all taxes, scale with autonomy. So right now I don't think we're doing any tax down in the trade companies. But what you can do is get access to goods. And buying and selling goods is uh, really good for your economy. 
even if you're not taxing it down here. So that's that's still worthwhile. Are we building? We should be building. Wait, what the fudge? There are eighty thousand residents here. No, no. Okay, what was I looking at? Oh, I keep looking at wages, and I'm getting it wrong. No, but there is no amenities here. There are no amenities here, so we should definitely build some. <clears throat> Likewise here, but oh, there's no no pops there. But yeah, we should definitely build up some amenities down here. I know, I know, we have no money. Rank one amenities cost nothing. Huh? Why? Why? Well, no provinces can construct this project. Why can't I build amenities here? What? What do you mean no provinces can construct this project? Why not? It's cord. It's, you know, it's not currently building anything. That's weird. Try again. Field infrastructure. No provinces can construct this project. What if I click it anyway? Huh. That's bizarre. Burden of taxation kicks in again. Yeah. Land tax, some timber excise, some noble dues. Yeah. Bureaucratic instability has expired. Good. And some sieges. Bureaucratic expansion has expired. Send the cannons north. <clears throat> the rest of you can begin assembling in Cardiff for the journey home. Okay, got promises to core, but we, yeah, we would like the dry docks and centralization of power techs as soon as possible. Income just positive. Up to 11 ducats now. Yeah, money is stabilizing now. How come? What did I just gain a bunch of money for? I think my property just started making quite a bit more money. That's cool. How's that dye coming? Gotta love the dye production. 256% profitability. You love to see it. Are you full now on uh, on farmlands here? Yeah, they are. <laughs> the farmlands in this province are making two... Oh, the industries in the farmlands are making 239.38 profit ducats per year. It might even be per month, but I think it's per year. I'm pretty sure it's per year. That's pretty crazy, you have to admit. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba -da. Ah, I'm being told it says you have six amenities, which should already be rank one. Okay, so it is rank one. It just hadn't updated the tooltip yet. Fine. Thanks for heads up. Chat, appreciate it enormously. Uh, so we have some... Yeah, we have some cash crop here. So let's get the um, irrigation upgraded. Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, infrastructure. Design project. Irrigation. Rank 1. Prepare. 100 ducats. How much labor you got? Probably like next to none, yeah? Yeah. But one, one third of the, the what you'd normally want. Buildings update in February. That's great to know. Thank you. Send the expedition to the Gulf of Guinea. I want to be the... No! Castile! <laughs> You bastards! Castile already won the race and got that there. We need to destroy them. Do do. There goes the truce of Portugal. It's time for war, but my manpower's gone down to thirty-five thousand again. Oh my god, no! I shouldn't have done this reform. It's killing my nation. Can I at least... I mean, we need to do, like, strategic marriages again. Oh, God. Let's do concessions. And... I really don't want to do a strategic marriage. We need to save up for the celebrations. But, oh my lord. The freaking... That freaking reform is absolutely destroying my manpower. Even with look at look, I mean, look at this autonomy. We need to do uh, expansion of bureaucracy, I think. Yes, it gives us corruption, but we need the state reach. 
And I'm not going to do a temporary tax relief. I need, I need a way to see the sources of my current manpower so we can know exactly what's failing. Because I'm pretty sure it's our... It's just because we, we did that reform, which is lowering the nobles' investment. But still, seems a little crazy. By the way, I noticed when I was recording a tutorial, we're at 545,000 people in Paris right now. The largest city in the world is over here. And that's 868. We're getting there. We're getting there. They have an urban development of 63 to my 54. We almost have the largest city in the world. Do, do. Chat's asking why they can't upgrade their military service even though they have all of the requirements. I bet you lack the monarch points. You have to have the 200 admin. Oh, it might be different. 200 mil, rather. The list at the bottom of that tooltip. That's my guess. All right, the tax relief's ending is at least going to help. All right, England, you can go. That's all the claims I want on Brabant. All right, get out of here, England. Give me, give me your provinces. Give me your word to not colonize anymore. <laughs> not that I can actually get that from you. Give me trade power and all your money. Anything else? Sure, cancel a core. Release meath? Nah. Boom. Now we have enough money to hold a grand celebration. No, we don't. Let's do that next month. Send down a... Yeah. Maybe, maybe this. This many men should be enough to handle Castilian's southern holdings. Church donations has expired. Good, okay. Yeah, economy recovering now that we've got those things expiring. Bum, 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 bum. And yeah, a couple of places to core down here. Let's get those done. Okay, colonies coming along. Almost at 700 now. Could I... Yeah, can I colonize here? What do you got? Got some rice, some millet. No, uh... No whatchamacallit. No ivory. Right here, could I send you here? You got any ivory? No. Sea salt here? Sea salt here? Sea salt here? Sea salt. We could send colonists to these, but we're probably out of range. Yeah, we are. Once we get a province down here, I think we might start throwing money at trying to make sure we're the one that secure these, these coastal tiles. Alright, you guys. Not the transports. Just can hang out here. Are you... You're the channel ones. Yeah, you guys. Go back to protecting trade in Iberia. That, again, having that restart will also help our income. Okay. Okay. War with Castile, but with no manpower. I'm, I'm honestly tempted to downgrade the military service. But I don't know why... Oops. Can I do that right now? Sorry, it's this one I want to need to downgrade. To levied armies. We should be able to do it, but it's not showing up as an option. Because the, the lack of feudal investment in feudal in noble in levies is just is crippling our nation. It's really, really hurting. I knew it, I thought it well, I didn't know. I thought it would cause a bit of a problem. I did not realize it would be this bad. We had at some points like 90,000 manpower. So uh, we can direct the clergy, I think, now, right? Yeah, organize the missionaries. In both cases, you can ask them to convert either 50 or 90%. Send a province to a province and focus on that province. Red pin several provinces and ask them to convert those provinces. Yeah, so if I... I mean, there's, there's unrest down here, though, so it wouldn't work, but... If I red pin, which is a funny way to say select, continue converting this province and this province until they have 90%. 
now I can deselect them. Good. Any more June successions? Oh, you know what I should do to try and get a uh, um, a consort? Just marry a bunch of people and then break the alliances. All right, marriages. There we go. Instantly got it. <laughs> Milan is no longer contested, so I'll break the royal ties with them. He's got a yard, he's got an old, old heir. So there's still a chance. We're not going to go to war with Castile in a hurry. In fact, we're not even going to go to war with Castile next. So bring those men back. Oh no, that's not our transport fleet. Bring those men back. Because we're going to go to war up here first. Descend relative noble concessions have all expired. Nobles, I beg of you. You can abuse the tenants all you want. I'll, I'll kill any relative you name. And I will yield to your ancient liberties. Just please, for the love of God. Varus, give me back my legions. Okay, we've got another claim coming up on Mali. And where were your uh, ivory things again? Here's the other big one. So I'll claim here. Good. And also getting this province would be good because then we'd be able we'd be in the, the Niger River sector, which would enable trade with Chad. Speaking of trade, if I can select the right province, let's make sure all of our provinces down here are in the colonial the uh, trade company. Yeah, I hadn't added these two yet. Good. That will eliminate the unrest. And it should also push it over the edge. Uh, not the Niger company. The West Africa company. Hang on, I already have a Niger company? Ah, yes. Because this province is actually in Niger. Okay. Cool. Ooh, Mali does have some gold mines as well. They're making bank off these provinces. How much is your gold, gold uh, thing making? Oh, I can't really see. Oh well, I can from I can infer it from mines. Yeah, they're making a lot of money from mines. Also, a lot from farmlands down here. Honestly, we're probably going to cause a huge increase to the wealth that Mali has now that we've connected to their trade network because we're going to be paying prices that they've never heard of for their exotic goods. Yeah, we should continue conquering Mali for the gold. I think I think I'm going to conquer this whole region. We were considering just taking the coast, but I think I'm actually going to take the whole bit so we can get that. Sweet, sweet bullion. Hey, nobles, love me for the love of God, love me. Can't quite afford that. We'll get there, we'll get there. Okay, but we'll get there in the next episode. Until then, thank you so very much for watching. Don't worry, Twitch, I'm not going anywhere. YouTube, I will see you next time. Where we will try and stabilize the situation, and I think we will claim a bit more land up here now we've burnt down that aggressive expansion. And I'll see you then.